Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault, and you're watching Animal Logic Second Nature. Nature's predators are equipped with all sorts of weapons. Fangs, venom, claws. There's a million ways to die in the West. And while some prey species have evolved to be poisonous, hard to find, or simply faster than their predators, others have gone a different way. Unable to outmaneuver the animals that try to snack on them, they became hard candy. If you gotta be dumb, you gotta be tough. For their protection against wild animals. These are nature's greatest tanks. Shields up. It immediately withdraws into the snug shelter of its shell and waits patiently within its well-designed fortress until the enemy departs. Mammals are generally softer than other animals, and armored mammals are very rare. But some of those who've turned skin into shields have prospered for millions of years. Armadillos are probably the first armored mammal you can think of. They're iconic. These hard boys are found mostly in Latin America, and their name is Spanish for the little armored one. There are over 20 different species ranging in size from the diminutive pink fairy armadillo to the humongous giant armadillo. Their armor is made of osteoderms, or dermal bones, that protect them from predators like jaguars and ocelots. My favorite species is the three-banded armadillo. They're unique in that they can bend themselves into an almost perfect ball at the first sight of danger. The largest armadillos are about 1.5 meters long, but if you had to take a stroll along the Amazon 20,000 years ago, you could have seen their cousins, the glyptodons. These armored tanks were about the size of a car, and some had spiny tails. They had to duke it out with saber-toothed cats, terror birds, and short-faced bears on a daily basis, so protection was necessary. One of the most alien-looking mammals on Earth is the pangolin. They're the only mammals with scales, but unfortunately, those scales are driving them to extinction. Pangolins are found in Africa and Southeast Asia, environments full of predators. Their thick, overlapping keratin scales give them protection without sacrificing flexibility. When threatened, they can curl up into a ball, hiding their face behind their thick tail. Their scales protect them from being eaten, but also provide a secondary advantage. They protect the scaly cuties from cuts, which in the wild often lead to bacterial infections and death. It's sadly ironic that their most advanced feature has led them to be overhunted by humans. Their scales have been used to make badass warrior armors, but most often, they've been hunted for use in traditional Chinese medicine. Of the eight species, three are critically endangered, and three are endangered. This is because over 100,000 live pangolins are transported to China every year, making them the most trafficked animal in the world. Thankfully, the Chinese government recently removed pangolin scales from their list of permitted traditional medicines. With added protections, their populations might recover slightly in the next couple of decades. Well, at this point, my friends, I wish to make it clear that the obscenity I'm talking about were not bought on the sly from under the counter. They can be bought openly by anyone in drugstores, groceries, delicatessens, terminals, malt shops, cigar stores, newsstands, all over the community. Staying in South Asia, we find the animal version of the tank, the Indian rhinoceros. These thick-skinned chunks are surprisingly sensitive. The tank, with its force and scope, is capable of carrying on a small war all alone. Their protective plates are made of yet another material, hide. They need it mostly to protect themselves from each other, as rhino fights do get a bit out of hand sometimes. 
Their thick hide creates large segmented plates that protects the rhino while conserving agility. Despite shattering the scale at three tons, they can run at over 50 kilometers an hour. The drawbacks of having a hide armor, as opposed to one made of bone or keratin, is that it's vulnerable to cuts, infections, sunburns, and even parasites, like leeches or ticks. On the other hand, the folds and warts in the armor give them more surface area, which makes it easier to thermoregulate. Extra strength, double protection, provide a protective armor shell. The reptile world is full of armor. From the dinosaurs to the modern turtles, they have a long, proud tradition of not letting themselves be chewed easily. Perhaps the greatest armored beast that ever lived, the Ankylosaurus was well equipped to fight off T-Rex. They were about seven meters long and had plates of bone lining their body from their neck to their tail, which had a large club at the end to hammer opponents. The alligator snapping turtle and the matamata turtle are the only living reptiles to get even close to them in armor design. Uh-oh, the top of a cage is open and the inmates have escaped. Well, here's one of them. That was a tortoise. A rather odd thing for a dog to collect, but he did it. Their shells are thick, rigid, and pointy in some parts. They not only make them tough to catch, but also help them blend in with the irregular riverbeds and ponds where they live. If discovered, they have powerful bites to remind you to keep your hands to yourself, or else they'll bite them off. Their shells are made out of their ribs, which are connected by dermal bone to create a shield. It's a strategy that's been working for over 200 million years, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Among lizards, the most interesting armor belongs to the armadillo-girdled lizard. These little South African reptiles have plates made of modified scales and dermal bone. They also bite their tail when threatened. This makes them larger and harder for predators to grasp. Their main predators are mongooses, which are unable to penetrate the armor of a full-grown armadillo-girdled lizard. Their shield is as hard as saying their name 10 times in a row. Go ahead, try it, I dare you. But in areas with fewer trees, where they're more exposed to birds of prey, they have evolved to have lighter armor in order to be faster, as this gives them a better chance of survival. Among invertebrates, armor is a lot more common. Insects have exoskeletons, so in a way, they're all armored. The skeleton of an insect is outside its body and is called an exoskeleton. Yes, this is real war. But their invertebrate cousins, the doughy-bodied mollusks, do need armor. And they've learned that they can make them both functional and stylish. The handsome tiger cowrie builds a remarkably strong shell and crawls slowly through the coral pools with the ponderous invulnerability of an armored tank. There are thousands of shelled mollusk species, from the striped beauty of the nautilus shell to the alien-like qualities of the giant clam and the complex architecture of the queen conch. Different species have built their own armor according to their needs. The majority of them are made out of calcium carbonate, but the scaly foot snail evolved to make their shells more hardcore, literally. These deep sea creatures use iron from their environment to make the outer layer of their shell. These are iron snails. Thanos be warned. They're the only known species to do this. The reason why they need to make themselves ironclad is still unclear, but it might help them survive extreme temperatures. And finally, we have the cheeky animals that learned that it might be easier to reuse old armor than to make it. Hermit crabs don't make their own shells, and instead, they find used snail shells to hide in. They have evolved to fit them almost perfectly and will change shells as they grow. Luckily, there's always a slightly larger crab that is also moving into new digs. If shells are scarce, crabs will fight and kill each other for the right to empty shells. Although the crab's back, head, and nippers are heavily armored, 
It has a very tender tail with a thin, sensitive skin. In a flash, it tucks its tender tail into safety. Over goes the shell, and away it scuttles. Similarly, the coconut octopus learned to make use of coconuts and clamshells to make a fortress. In some cases, they'll even grab multiple shells with their suckers and arrange them around their soft body to protect themselves. This might be one of the earliest instances of tool use in nature. They might be one of the smartest animals on Earth. The world of animal armor is fascinating. There are so many different types of materials and they're all made of pretty much the same building blocks. From insects to rhinos, animals are able to create armor out of the food they eat. I wanted to freshen up my knowledge of chemical compounds, and today's episode's sponsor, Brilliant.org, is one of the easiest ways of learning new things. I did the course on chemical reactions, and it revitalized my passion for chemistry. I was a fan as a kid, but relearning it as an adult reminded me of how chaotic and amazing the universe is. The best thing is that I did it all on my phone. I was able to get some fresh air and learn at the same time. The courses are all based on interactive explanations instead of lectures, so they make you think rather than just recite information. With Brilliant Premium, you get access to all their content divided into easy to understand chunks. You'll learn by solving problems and doing quizzes, which get more challenging as you go along. And they're all accessible on both desktop and mobile. If you want to learn more about the world, go to brilliant.org slash animalogic. The first 200 people will get 20% off their Brilliant Premium subscription. Check out Brilliant. It's the most fun way to get smarter every day. So what should I talk about next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes every week. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and see ya! Their shield is as hard as saying their name 10 times in a row. Armadillo, armadillo girdled lizard. Mm. Full grown monitor lizard girdled thing. Uh, the armor of an armadillo girdled, liz girdled lizard. Mon uh, of a full grown armadillo girdled lizard. Arg! <sighs> full grown. Mm, I can't do it. Armadillo girdled lizard. Why do I have such trouble with this? Full grown. Armadillo girdled lizard. Full grown armadillo girdled lizard. I've been practicing. <sighs> Go ahead and try it. I dare you. <laughs>